welcome back to my channel. My name is Baina Hughley, and for this video, I am going to break down how to create a capsule wardrobe. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that several years ago, I went through kind of like a style crisis, uh, one where I was experimenting with fashion, but not doing with it with any purposeful direction. So I was trying all kind of random trends. I was uh, buying a lot of fast fashion. There was no real connection or rhyme or reason. And I ended up spending thousands of dollars, not hanging on to anything. And it was an expensive lesson, but it's something that I'm glad that I went through. So now I have a completely different approach to how I dress and my capsule wardrobe has made that incredibly um, useful and saving me money and just clarity and just loving getting dressed every day. A capsule wardrobe is a small collection of useful clothing that you love to wear and work interchangeably with each other. Some people say up to six months. I live in a more moderate climate in Los Angeles. So for me, every three to four months is what I'm going to be changing my wardrobe. I am actually in between winter and spring right now. So it's not fully developed. If you're in winter, we're gonna wear our winter clothes. And then as soon as it's spring, all those winter clothes get put away and you step into your spring clothes. And I love that because honestly, after three or four months, I do just simply get tired of wearing the same thing and I love having that ability to change. So step number one is to sort through your existing clothes. So that means that you go to your closet and you take all of your clothes out and just take it all out and we're gonna sort it into three different piles. The first pile is your hell yes pile. That's your pile that you're like, I love wearing these clothes, I wear them every day, this is my style, this is the no brainer this is me, I'm wearing it. So you take all those clothes and put them into one pile. That's your easiest and most self-gratifying pile because it's like, yes, I know what I'm doing. The second pile of clothes is also an easy one. That's all your seasonal stuff, okay? So you're gonna take anything that is not of the correct, the right season that you're in, you're gonna take all that out and you're going to fold it up or hang it and you're gonna store it out of your closet in another place. If you only have one closet, it's just whatever, make the room. But you're going to put that out of mind. And then in the next season, where appropriate, you'll pull it back out and assess. But that goes away. That's not even in your closet. Now, the third category is the one that people struggle with the most. And that is the maybes, the haven't worn, the I paid a lot. It, it's kind of nice. What do I do? The if I only lost 10 pounds, I'd be there. All those maybes you're gonna actually go ahead and get rid of those. In this category, you can give away to friends if they're in nice, good quality and they would actually you know, appreciate them. You can take them to a consignment shop, give them to Goodwill, just get them the heck out of your house. That's your biggest challenge with all of that. After you do that, you're gonna take your pile of favorites that you wear every single day and you're gonna put that right back into your closet or if you're like me, you're going to get a clothing rack, which I highly, highly recommend having a clothing rack because it just is a fun way to style your clothes and really kind of assess how you use them. I'll get in more into that later. And then you're going to look at what you have left. That is your style. That is your capsule. Okay. So once we analyze our favorites, I want you to arrange each garment in the order, the same type of clothes. I want you to put all the clothes together, okay? So I want you to put your shirts together next to each other, your tops, your outerwear, your bottoms, your jeans, all of those categories go together. And then we're gonna look at what we are missing. Are we missing anything? So in each category of clothing, we're want, gonna to wanna to have three garments, all right? So you're gonna to wanna to have, in general, three blouses, you know, three tops, three bottoms, three skirts, three dresses. And the concept with the threes is that you wanna think of one that's more casual, one that's more dressy, and something that's in the middle. Now, before I go any further, one thing that's extremely important is that we have to address your lifestyle. How do you spend the majority of your time? Do you work in a corporate environment and need suits and blazers and you know pumps and dress pants? Or are you a yoga teacher that works from home so you need more athleisure wear that's stylish? 
um, or anything in there between. Are you a veteran vet during the day? Do you wear a uniform to work? Um, you want to think about your lifestyle because that is going to tell you the kind of garments that you need to add into your wardrobe. Okay. So I am a YouTuber and an interior designer. For me, something that's really useful is having more formal tops like this one, pretty professional, simple tops. So I need blouses. I also, um, drive, we drive in LA and we never walk anywhere. Nobody will take a, we don't take a bus. So I have a lot of heels because I'll go out to fancier places. I could just drive myself or take an Uber and just that kind of thing. So living in this city right now, I am a lot dressier than my lifestyle. When I lived in San Francisco, there I was on the bus and I needed efficient clothes and it's colder and all of these things. So you want to take into your into account your lifestyle. You also want to look at your existing pieces that you have left and look at what am I missing? Okay. So going back to the rule of threes allows you to be covered in terms of having uh, enough diversity to make different outfits that are casual, dressier, etc. The basic categories of clothes that I would consider in a capsule wardrobe would be the garments that you actually use to create the outfits, okay? And as a general rule, uh, uh, as some people who are really strict with this, about 33, 37 garments to make up the wardrobe. You don't have to do that or you can. Um, but it's important to note that athleisure, workout wear, underwear, um, ceremony clothes, you know, saris, things for weddings, specialty items like that do not, are not considered part of the capsule wardrobe. It's really the clothes, the meat and potatoes of what you need to put onto your body in order to get dressed. For me, I consider some of my outerwear as part of my capsule wardrobe. You know, this black leather jacket is something that I can take with me the entire year, and it's a staple. Um, some of the other, you know, so I sort of switch my outerwear per season. Okay, so now that we've arranged all of our clothes, all of our favorites in our closet by type, you're going to see what's missing. And this is where you will go out and you will buy something, okay? So let's say you only have, you know, one pair of formal pants, but you need maybe two more for work. You want to think about diversifying the color, the cut, you know, maybe one is like more of a crop pant or an ankle length. Maybe you have a pair of white jeans, three different types of jeans. It just really depends on your lifestyle. So if you're a jeans person, you might want a dark wash jean. Oh, I highly recommend that. A white denim jean and maybe a boyfriend you know, if you're a heavy jean wearer. Um, if you never wear skirts, then skirts don't have to be in your capsule wardrobe. It's all about what is customized to you and that's why I love it. After you buy a number of things and you feel like you have a pretty good handle on being able to make these work, you should not go shopping. You should challenge yourself to not shop for at least one month because you are going to test out your idea to see if you have enough garments to create 30 unique outfits for the month or, you know, more or less. And if you feel like at the end of that 30 day period, you, there was something that you desperately needed that you did not have, go out and buy that thing and add it to your wardrobe. Now, in terms of style, if you're still struggling to figure out what your style is, you can use the concept of the looking at what worked for you, the things that you love to wear versus the things that you didn't. Okay. And so notice when you're kind of going through your favorites, what are the colors that I continue to be drawn towards that I know look good for my skin tone? Are there any other colors and patterns that I need to add into this wardrobe to give it a little bit more personality? Just because you're doing a capsule wardrobe does not mean everything has to be minimal, gray, solid. That's not the vibe. You can do vibrant color. You can add pattern. And I think when you are shopping and looking around for things, um, some of it is planning and other times there's just spontaneous things that you find that you absolutely love. You can't explain why they're just perfect. And sometimes those purchases are the things that create an entire inspiration for the whole season. So I have two pieces I'm going to share with you. This jacket I recently got at Crossroads, which is a consignment shop that I love. Um, it's actually a men's jacket and I would say it's more of the like kind of army kind of style utility jacket. 
And I don't know what it is about this coat, but it's just so cool to me. And I think it would look really awesome with white jeans. And I really love how it looks with this kind of unusual bag that I would never, I wouldn't normally gravitate towards, but I saw this bag in the store and I was like, I just have to have this. To me, this outfit is just so cool. And, you know, with the right jeans and the shirt underneath it, I just thought, what a cool look. This is something totally unplanned. And I just love like how it hangs on the body and how cool it is. And so this color right here, I felt like this kind of like olive green neutrally color was literally going to be the start of my entire spring capsule wardrobe. It's something I would have never planned. It's just something that ended up happening in life and you need to be open to that kind of spontaneity when you're discovering your style for me i have changed the kind of clothes that i wear greatly i used to wear more boxy or minimalist clothes and now i wear in like louder patterns and then i learned a lot about the kitty body type system which i'll go to in a future video i also did some research on my skin undertone when you're discovering your own style, you want to be open to things you've never considered before. And a lot of that has to do with color, right? We have these ideas about who we are and what looks good on us. And that can actually keep us trapped in a box. Um, so keeping an open mind will actually open up a lot of opportunities for you. And for me, that was the color blue. Blue is something I always just thought didn't work for me. But once I did, I figured out what my skin undertone was. I learned that blue is a really great color for me being a neutral. And so I picked this up last month. This is obviously for spring. This is going to be one of the dressier items in my dress collection. And I just think the color is just so pretty. And so blue and this kind of acru color is our colors that I'm going to be looking into adding into my spring wardrobe. When you're thinking about color also in the capsule wardrobe, the essential key is really having a group of clothes that all work together interchangeably. So you don't want wildly different uh, colorations. You wanna pick two to three colors that all kind of work mixed in with your neutrals. Like I said, my clothing rack behind me is a little bit of a hodgepodge from winter to spring. I'm going to be refining that. And as I develop spring, it's still just a little too cold out there. I will be sure to definitely share those garments with you. If this video is interesting, please definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more style and interior design videos. And definitely, definitely just let me know if you feel like uh, there's a, a tip or a pointer that you have from doing a capsule wardrobe, something maybe I missed. I'd love to hear what those are. There's no one perfect way to do it, but if at the end of the day, you can create a small, contained wardrobe filled with really great things that you love to wear and every day you just kind of getting dressed is a no-brainer for you then to me that's a success so thank you so much for watching and i will definitely talk to you again soon bye